The Tree by author and photographer Beth Swinney. Once upon a time, there was a tree. On this tree were many leaves. The leaves were friends. Every morning when the sun rose, they would greet each other, calling out, Hi, Bob. Hey, Shirley. How you doing, Fred? Hello there, Betty. Nice sunshine we have today, huh, Steve? They had all grown up together. Every spring, they would wake up in their little buds ready to work. They had a very important job. They all had to work together to make food for their tree. They needed the sun to make food for the tree, so spring was a special time. Every day in the spring, there was a little more sun to help the leaves make more food. The leaves were full of something special to help them make food. It was called chlorophyll. The chlorophyll is also what filled the leaves with their great green color. Every day there was more and more sunshine until the first day of summer, which was the day that had the most hours of sunlight in the whole year. But after that day, each day had a little less sunlight. With less sunlight, the leaves made less food and they had less chlorophyll and they started to change. Bob, who was normally a perfect shining green, was starting to blush red, like he was embarrassed by his lack of chlorophyll. And every day it got worse and worse and worse until Bob had hardly any chlorophyll left at all. Shirley, who was always a beautiful shade of emerald, was now developing yellow splotches. The splotches spread every day until Shirley was now the color of the sun that used to provide her with chlorophyll. One by one, it happened to them all. You see, the tree, knowing it was getting less food from the sun, was getting ready for its winter nap. It needed to let the leaves go. One by one, the leaves dropped from the tree, meeting on the ground. They looked up at their tree and realized how beautiful all their different colors looked together. They had all worked together for the health of the tree, but now their job was done. Until spring comes again.